So today we're going to show you the installation procedure for the Sturdy Wall 63 bracket from Permacolum. This bracket is ICC certified, 100% engineered and American made. So let's see how this thing installs. So I'm going to lay out my post just like I would any, any, other, any other post. I've already got my center line and I've marked the center line on my bracket as well. So you can see I'm going to ensure that they're, they're lined up. Now again, this is a Sturdy Wall 63, a drill set model which fits a three-ply two-by-six column. Once I've got my bracket measured and in place, I'm gonna take uh, just any, any pencil and I'm gonna measure the, mark the center holes that are given on the bracket. And that's where I'm gonna pre-drill for the connection for my concrete anchor. Please refer to the design manual for additional concrete anchors that are approved by the Permacol manufacturer. I've also got a concrete hammer drill with a 5 8 concrete bit. I've got an impact gun as well. The concrete anchor that comes with the Sturdy Wall 63 is a 5 8 by 6 inch concrete anchor. This anchor, again, requires a 5 8 inch concrete drill, drill bit um, to pre-drill the hole. So let's see how that process goes. So I've got, my, I've got my hole marked, and we're gonna begin, begin drilling this hole. I'm gonna make sure all the concrete dust is out of the way so that whenever I seat my anchor, that it fully seats. On a sturdy wall 63, I've got two of them. I'm just gonna make sure that I got my bracket in the right spot before I go drill my other hole. So I'm good there. Now I'm gonna start drilling my other hole. Both holes have been drilled and we're ready to set the bracket. Again, I'm gonna ensure that I'm still marked, lined up with my center line. My bracket is five inches wide and yet my column is five and a half inches wide because I'm using a three-ply two by six. So I'm gonna ensure that my bracket is a quarter inch off of the face of my concrete, which I've done. So I'm ready to install my anchors. I got my 5 8 by six inch anchors ready to, ready to screw in. I'm gonna use a 15 16 socket to set these things in place. Now that I have these in place, I wanna note that the, the bracket is drilled with an oblong shape so if I happen to get it off center, I can loosen my concrete anchors and shift it into place. So with every Sturdy Wall 63 comes a hardware pack. HW63DS is the one you're gonna want. In that hardware pack came the two 5 8 by six inch concrete anchors, two half inch by six inch bolts, as well as four quarter by three lag screws. So we've got our column in place. We've got it plumbed up. We've got it squared up. We're ready to, we're ready to drill this thing in. So we're gonna grab a 5 16 socket to, to install the quarter by three inch screw. So there's two holes on, the, on each, each side of the bracket. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in first so we make sure that our column stays in place before we drill it. So again, I got two on each side, two quarter by three inch screws. Once I got my quarter by three screws in, I'm gonna pre-drill my hole from a half inch bolts. So I'm just gonna use a standard half, half inch drill bit. This is a long one, so I can get all the way through my column. So I'm gonna first drill through one side, then we'll go to the other side to finish off the Finish off the drill. So once I have my holes drilled, I'm gonna take my half a six inch bolt and pound it through. I got my half inch washer on there as well. It goes on the that goes on the bolt head side. Take my two half inch 
half inch nuts and we'll fasten them on the side. So I'm gonna use a three quarter inch socket on my impact gun to fasten these on. Super easy install of the Cedarwall CC3 bracket from Permacolm. Build better, build stronger, build to last.